Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both sometimes watching a specific film. And boy, does my review matter when it comes to the content of this film. The film I'm reviewing today is called The Re-Education of Molly Singer. This raunchy comedy by Lionsgate is playing in select theaters and simultaneously is available on streaming. The movie is definitely rated R. It's two hours long, which in my opinion is two hours too long. And my movie review mom grade is, drum roll, no big surprise, I'm giving this raunchy piece of garbage an F. <laughs> okay, keep watching and let me explain why. <laughs> Obviously, my movie review comes from a mom's perspective and an educator's, actually, as a college professor, but I'm jumping ahead of myself. First, I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and did not like, as well as offer tips for parents Parents, don't let your kids watch this piece of garbage. And interesting lines, funny lines, if there are any. And recommendations for other garbage films like this. That if you like this, you're going to like this. <laughs> All right, let me dive in. So first, in a nutshell, I rarely turn off movies before I finish watching them because I want to be able to give you a full review. However, some movies are just too trashy and stupid to keep watching. So I saw enough of this movie to confidently tell you that this movie is rubbish. The story is about a slutty, boozed out young lawyer who agrees to go undercover at her old university that she graduated from to help her boss's son succeed at college life. The film was directed by Andy Palmer and the writers were Todd M. Friedman and Kevin Haskin, who were either living out their college fantasies or really did waste those years being wasted. <laughs> totally disappointing film. It could have been really cute and funny, and it's neither. So let me give you some tips for parents. Obviously, I do not recommend this movie for kids. The movie shows terrible behavior and is just not appropriate for kids. There's crude behavior and conversations and gestures. A mother takes her son, for example, to a strip joint and encourages a lap dance. Now, there's a lesson in that moment, but I'm like, you could have taught that lesson in a different way, I'm thinking, right? There's profanity, including many F-bombs. We see a guy smoke a joint, tons of alcohol, unmarried college students sleep around like crazy and talk about it. Thankfully, we don't have to see it all. We just see people in bed. Um, and it just makes college look like a nonstop drunken orgy. Now, I mentioned I'm actually a university professor. I teach at a university and at a nursing college where I live. And you know what? If my students are doing this kind of behavior, they're going to flunk out. And I love college which is why I guess I'm still teaching and that college. <laughs> but I was there to learn. Yes, of course, I loved all the social life, but that and that was part of the education. But ultimately, I developed that love for lifelong learning. And it's really frustrating as a professor to see students act like this. And thankfully, I don't have too many that behave like this in this uh, movie. Um, but anyway, they're, they're never going to pass their classes. And at the very least, they shouldn't pass their classes if they can't pay attention to learning and start to grow up a little bit. Okay, enough off my mom's high horse. So the, some of the themes in the movie are definitely college life, independence, growth, learning, um, taking responsibility, um, Although we don't see a ton of character development until like the last 30 second wrap up monologue by the protagonist. 
Uh, I guess better late than never, right? Uh, so some of the things that I did like about the movie are, first of all, I've always really liked Britt Robertson as an actress. She usually plays sweet, likable characters, and usually she's in romances, and she was Disney's sweetheart for a long time. But in this movie, she plays just an irresponsible slutty jerk that I didn't like from the very first glance um, during the opening rolling credits because she's bragging about how she's just going on endless benders and sleeping around and not going to class and, you know, all, all of that kind of stuff and acting like that's so cool and so awesome. And then she takes those habits with her into her professional life as a new young lawyer. And I tell my students that too, all of the lessons that you learn in the assignments are to help you once you graduate and to not look at your assignments as just homework and busy work and, you know, just getting through that class so you can move on to the next class next class so you can graduate but though I always tell them look at the actual assignment and ask yourself what long lasting skills am I developing through this assignment because they're there so look okay oh, I got back on the high horse didn't I okay <laughs> so then another thing I really liked is uh, Wendy Malick's presence in the movie her a character appears briefly Sadly, I've always gotten a kick out of the characters that she plays in her various movies. And so I wanted to see more of her in this. Her character's existence in this story is super random and completely contrived, which is, I guess, why she just disappears from the entire script, other than like one little scene at the beginning of the movie, again, which was disappointing because I liked her. Now, there's a long list of things that I didn't like. But again, I think if I kept watching the movie, this list would have gotten really long. First of all, the plot is ridiculous. Why would a mother who is an attorney and uh, the part one of the lead partners, the senior partner, I guess, at a law firm, why would she hire someone to mentor her son to be successful in college when she knows this person she's hiring is an irresponsible mess herself. In fact, she fires this girl who's played by Burt Robertson, you know, because she's so incapable and a total disaster. And so that's who she hires to go help her son. You know, it's so contrived and just so ridiculous. Now, I guess that's supposed to be really funny. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of humor. The humor that does exist in the movie is in the gutter. Honestly, it's the the lowest level of humor you can possibly find. That's, you know, anyway. Uh, and then I often looked at Ollie, who is Molly's best friend, or at least she claims that he's her best friend, but she treats him like garbage for the majority of the movie. There are a few moments where she's kind and sweet to him, but otherwise she just tramples all over him and uses and abuses him, you know? And I'm like, why is he sticking around? Uh, Ollie has this terrible job at the beginning of the movie. He's miserable. And yet somehow he has rich parents who don't mind financing these college raves and buying alcohol for underage students, you know, and I'm like, uh, that doesn't make sense either. And again, everything is just very forced and contrived and not funny. And so when I went to see if I'd written down any funny lines or even interesting lines to share with you, like I do for every movie, I, I got nothing. I didn't write down anything. So I, at the end of my reviews, I always like to give recommendations for other movies like this that I think you'll enjoy. And so in, instantly I thought of a movie that I didn't review. I think I did a YouTube short on it because I thought it was such trash. And it's the same as this, kind of a similar story where there's just a trashy, slutty girl who's paid to be friends with these parents' son to help him grow up and specifically to get him laid. You know, like that's the ultimate college experience. Uh, anyway, that movie is called No Hard Feelings, Full Frontal Nudity. Now, for some of you, that might be a perk and, and no pun intended, but that might be, a, you know, a plus on why you want to see the movie. It's just 
garbage. And it, it's so frustrating because I love the medium of film. It's so powerful. And then when the screen is filled with just trash, um, you know, it just is frustrating for me. So there you have it. Hated this movie. The parts that I saw don't recommend it and wish that Hollywood would put, produce uh, good movies that we can sink our teeth into. And yes, and okay, I should say, I absolutely find validity in being able to just laugh at dumb movies, but not movies that are just so void of any good value, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. All right, I've already said too much. Okay, that's it. That's it for my review. <laughs> Hopefully this review was helpful and it's definitely not similar to my other reviews where I really do try to find some redeeming value, but this one just had none. So there you go. Thank you for watching. When you get a minute, run over and visit me on Instagram at Movie Review Mom. But you can also find me as Trina Boyce, my author name, where you can learn about my books, my online courses, uh, and some of the other stuff that I do. Have a fantastic day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.